Hello everyone. I just want to just uh, shoot a quick little video to show you a um, how I did something on my Silhouette uh, Studio. I saw this picture the other day on Lane Bryant and I loved the way that Kiss um, looked with the American flag in it. So I figured out how to do that. I really struggled. I looked up videos and all this and I figured out how to do a pattern, a cuttable pattern inside a shape but I didn't want an outline, and so I've kind of created my own way. I don't know if it's correct, but this is how I did it. Okay, so here I just opened a new uh, page in my design studio. I'm going to get the files. I just used um, some silhouette files from the store. So I got this little flag of 99 cents, and I got these lips that were also like 99 cents or something like that. So I'm going to just put those in my project. I'm going to move the lips aside for now and let's work with the flag. First thing is I'm going to just make the flag as big as I want the whole project to be. And I want it to be the full sheet. I mean, I want this to go all the way across my t-shirt. So I'm going to make it about that. Well, let's see. Yeah, about that big. It could be a smidge bigger, but no big deal. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to ungroup this. I'm going to right click ungroup. I'm going to get rid of this tri uh, this rectangle. I don't need it. Um, I'm then going to move. Sorry for the jibber jabber. Those are my kids in the background. I'm going to move this little stars patch into where it needs to go. Uh, zoom in. You can see that there. Uh, it's a little bit out of whack. Let's fix it there. Okay. And then I'm going to color this in just for my own um, eyeballs sake. That blue this red okay now um, I'm going to leave those two ungrouped actually I'm gonna grab them together real quick because I want to make this a little bit bigger if you've got them together they'll both um, increase in size together in scale okay shrink down now let's mess with the lips here okay I'm gonna move them over and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate them so that they're a little bit straighter because my flag is straight. Next, I'm going to move them right on top of here. Um, it's going to be a little bit hard for you guys to see, but I'm just going to stretch them and make them as big as I want them. Um, so I'm going to make them pretty big here. About that big-ish. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, um, now before I get carried away, I'm actually going to duplicate these lips a couple times. Um, just so I don't have to go back and open them up again and again and again if I mess them up because that's the way I roll. So there they've been duplicated a couple times. And the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, we're going to be messing with the lips here first. I'm going to fill them in white. Now you'll notice that some of these spots on here like this center spot and these little, um, little tiny cuts here, they've actually filled in. And that's because this is not a compound um, path. So what we're going to do is you're going to eat keeping this highlighted you're going to click either this little modify um, menu here or you can right click and you're going to go down to make a compound path and what that does is it makes all of those little gaps actual holes and so you can see through them now as I move them across I'm gonna do that with these others as well um, I don't have these filled in uh, let's actually do that really quickly just for continuity there we go and this guy can be white as well okay so first thing first you're going to leave one of these sets of lips just as it is because that's going to be your background color i wanted to make this shirt um, on a gray t-shirt so i'm leaving that lips white so the stars and the the white stripes and the flag will be white okay next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take um one of these actually i'm going to leave one of them not filled in um, I'm going to take this and put it right smack on top of my American flag here. Um, just like that. I don't know if you can see that. Let's zoom in a smidge. All right. So what you're going to do now is you're going to highlight all three pieces. So that's the blue, the red, and the lips. i make sure I just have those. And then you're going to go to that modify window again. You're then going to click crop. And you're going to get something. Sorry, my computer's a little slow. You're going to get something that looks like this. Now, I like to click off of it, and then I'm going to click what should be quote-unquote blue again, okay? Um, and then I'm also going to um, 
Okay, okay, in a second, baby. Um, then you're going to get anything. So you're going to click on this blue area, and you're going to want to get anything else that's blue inside here, which it doesn't look like there is anything. Maybe one little speck right there. Yeah, I don't know why that one little speck happened, but that's okay. And you're going to group that. Okay, Lily, go play, go play with Eli. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and color that blue. Sorry, that's my, my two-year-old. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to, I'm just going to move that to the side to get it out of my way. Then I'm going to get, grab all of this stuff here, and I'm going to group that together. I'm going to leave that red. Now, I'm actually going to go over onto this gray. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to go stay here on the gray so you can see this a little better. Um, I'm going to take my red and move my red onto here. It doesn't have to be perfect for right now. And actually, this little crazy little bits over on the side, actually, I'm going to ungroup that real quick. Ungroup. Oops. And then I'm going to grab these little guys. Wait. Ungroup. Let's grab these little these little stinkers right here. And let's just, I'm going to just get rid of them. They're no big deal. Okay. And then I'm going to, oh, hopefully I didn't mess that up. Okay. I'm going to move that away. Um, let's grab all of this stuff again. Let's group it together. And here, I'll just put it back over here. Uh, now we've got the white background, the red stripes, which are off just a smidge. There we go. And then we've also got our blue stars. And you'll notice when you set those right on top of there, let me zoom in so I can see a little bit better. You've got white in the background. And you've got blue and red in the foreground. And so you can make all three cuts with your vinyl. And there you have it. American flag lips. Um, red, white, and blue. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Uh, thank you very much for your time. And thanks for watching.